I'm here at Arkansas Yarn Co. in Malvern, Arkansas. This one is going to be a little bit special because not only are we getting our full tour and interview, we're also going to dye some yarn together. Hi, I'm Lori, uh, the owner of Arkansas Yarn Company. And we're gonna take a tour around the store. Yes, we are. Okay, where do you wanna start? Where do you usually start with, like when somebody comes in the door, where do you go to first? Cause this, this wall attracts me, but also there's like so much rainbow over here. Exactly. Well, retail science says that most people go to the right. Really? So I uh, stationed my yarn that I dye here in store right on the first three Let's cubbies. Let's see. So this is your in-house dyed this yarn. This is my in-house dyed yarn. And, um, you know, of course, pink is my favorite color. We had to have Barbie. <laughs> we had to have Barbie. So, um, and these are, this cabinet in particular is the things that are brand new. So oh, okay. um, most of the time, this is like our new arrival shelf. So fun. And then the next cubby is all of my fingering weight yarn. Beautiful. And um, we're, we don't really do a whole lot of mohair. Uh, we do more Surrey mm -hmm. and I'm sold out of all of that right now. And on the back side mm -hmm. is the different weights. So oh, we nice. have um, DK, worsted, going down into bulky weight. Very nice. And then um, these two are Chelsea Lux. Mm. I love her so me much. Me too, me too. I just her yarn is gorgeous. Color. Yes. And then we have Suburban Stitcher. And on the other yep. side, this way? we have more hand dyed yarn. So all the cubbies that are on an angle, mm -hmm. those are yarns that are dyed from my friends oh, awesome. that I have relationships with. Amazing. The far wall is this grouping right here in this cubby. All of that is the new earth yarns and unique yarns. We're carrying those. We're slowly bringing in eventually the full line. Oh, great. Um, they're so amazing. They sent us a ton of samples, so we have a lot of little oh. samples of their yarn. So this back wall is all commercial yarn with the exception of that. We just didn't have another um, diagonal cubby to put it. And then the back side is uh, Loopy Mango. Oh, very And then nice. this side of the room mm -hmm. is an entire wall of Malabrigo. Amazing. I love Malabrigo. <laughs> so do you, like from the front, it looks like fingering weight? It is. All so, the way up to their bulky? I like things, I like it, the yarn displayed in a rainbow formation. <laughs> and so from red to red is one base. Oh, okay. And then red, and then, um, so the red to the first red, that's all their sock base. And red to the next red is all their, um, Ultimate sock, yes. and then uh, Arroyo, Rios, Rasta, uh, Noventa, Rasta, and then we get into the tea. We carry Plum Deluxe tea. Yeah. We have a subscription yeah, service. Let's go over there because you have your own blend of tea. We do have our own blend of tea. We I get it. I love it. It's so pretty, and I just posted a video on my Instagram of making a pink latte. So I know if you're not doing that, you should do it. It's so good. Do you have a foam a broth? A no, frother? I need to get one. We need to. You get do. One. Right. They're so. Because I can just get a little one, right? Like a handheld. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Froth your milk and then brew your tea, and then pour the foam on top, and it just makes the perfect. It makes it's pink. this color pink. Yes. Perfect I pink. just love that. Yes. So they're a, they are a lovely company to work with. And they also are a small business. Mm -hmm. So the cornerstone of my business is supporting other small businesses. And I just love being able to carry their product. They Every uh, Sock Yarn Society is my subscription service. Mm -hmm. Every single month, we are giving a trial size so that people can taste it. And then we carry that in the store um, in the full sizes 
after. Yeah, and I can confirm it's so good. I did their advent this yes. year, and I'm still, you know, finishing up my last few. They're amazing. So good. They're so amazing, and they're such a pleasure to work with. That's good to know. So, and then the very last little bit that we have is Ilamani, and this is our Amelie, and it is one of our most luxurious yarns in the store. Mm, and gotta feel that. there's a couple of hats. That little um, charcoal sweater uh -huh. is from Round Tree Stitchery. Jessica was a test knitter for her, and then the little hat that's next to it that was is the Christina hat. It's lovely so soft yarn. And light. It feels like you're knitting with air. Oh my god. It's gosh. lovely. It's beautiful. Yeah. We love it. So I And then we just had a look. Oh, we those had, are so pretty. We had Lemonwood make us our very own mini minders. Oh my god. So you just walk in it. You can walk around with your it. cake on there. Yes, look That's how awesome beautiful. it is. They did Veronica did such a great job. I, I love, love it. That. Tell us more about the Sock Yarn Society subscription. So the Sock Yarn Society subscription is a fingering weight yarn. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, do you mind if I unbox it? Yeah, let's see okay. it. Okay, it's the packaging. <laughs> and this I designed this logo myself. I love, so love, cute. love it, it's so beautiful. You said so, this is February, right? This is February, mm -hmm. so y'all give me a sneak peek. Mm -hmm. Well, I think um, it's gonna be beautiful. <laughs> I love it, I love it. So um, every month has a theme, and this year I decided to do a tonal. So, you know, we all have all those skeins mm -hmm. of speckles, mm -hmm. and you don't have anything to do with it. So yeah. this year, the entire year's theme is tonals. Okay. So that people can make, it's a, I call it a stash enhancement, so Ooh. they can enhance their stash. This happens to be the high twist base. I, love that. I also have um, yummy plush and sparkle base. Mm -hmm. So you get th a choice of three bases. Okay. And then I curate all of these things because I want them all to be a comprehensive theme. Yes. So it all matches. Oh, that's so, so you're cute. getting a You Are Amazing. This year, this month's box is called You Are. Okay. And then there is a little card that gives all of the information. It also matches the same. Nice. And then on the back, we give everybody a scratch off uh, discount code that they can use in the store for the month. Right. And then this one has a little organza bag and they are getting so many cute things. So needle toppers that match. I love. Every, and this is the reason why people subscribe to the Sock Yarn Society because they want the exclusive Arkansas shaped resin and they <laughs> lose their minds if it's missing. Who makes these? We do, here in Can house. Can back there? Yes. Yes. Oh, that's super so, cool. and I have um, one of my employees, her name is Luann. She's 76 years old and she puts all of these together for us. Wow. On the little, and then we have the little cards and all of it's all branded to go with. So that's that. Um, this is the Lunar, uh, Lunar New Moon uh, tea sample from Plum Deluxe. Nice. Everybody's getting this particular one oh. says you are kind. Every one of these little cards was different. Mm -hmm. and so you are brave. You are kind. You are never alone. You are worthy. Mm -hmm. You are beautiful. And so everybody's getting this and then they get to wear this and remember what their card says. So cool. So, and it all goes together. So I mean, look, I love, love, love this. It's my opportunity to school people. Mm -hmm. And so that makes me happy. Yes. And people, if they want to get them, they have to order them by the 10th. 
They do. Okay. It has, and I will tell you this, our society opens and closes. So right now it's open, mm -hmm. but um, it will close it soon. Mm -hmm. So, and then people can sign up at stockcarensociety.com. They can join the wait list. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. And they ship yes. every month. Every month. On the, on the first. first. Nice. Yes. Beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. And you can't get this in the store. You cannot. Um, in about three to between three to six months, they will come out onto the shelves, mm -hmm. and I will the uh, recipe is repeatable. Oh, wow. So uh, I will have sweater quantities at that time. So if you love so if it, you love it nice. if you love it, and you're a subscriber, a member, you can message me, and I will dye you a sweater's quantity. Mm -hmm. If you uh, otherwise just customers come in the store, they yeah. don't have an opportunity to get it. That's so fun. It's the perfect color. I love it. It is. So these right here are like packaged up. You can't see them. They're mystery bundles. How do these work? They're also a mystery to me. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, on a trip and the girls packaged all of these up. So uh, the way Jessica and Anna does it, mm -hmm. they actually will go to the shelf and pick a skein of yarn. And then I have a bucket of minis in the, in the front oh. and they just will coordinate and then they wrap it up. You can you can get two skeins. This this one is a two skein pack, and mm -hmm. this is a one skein pack. Mm -hmm. The two skeins, I don't know if they blend together, but every time somebody purchases this, I make them open it right away because I want to <laughs> see it too. Yeah. I want to be a part of the mystery. Yes. But yes, we love these. We cannot keep them in stock. That's we so fun. love them so much. So there's two skeins of yarn in here and a mini. Okay. And it's a little bit discounted price from um, just purchasing two skeins right mm -hmm. off the shelf. And this one is a one skein. And it comes with a mini too? It does. Awesome. So you could do it a does. sock or like maybe a shawl with that one. And you know, it's super important to me that the yarn mm -hmm. is pretty. It's not the last one of that. So if you found it and you like it, mm -hmm. then you can get another one. It's wow. not as though it's, it's not the crappy yarn it's that we're just trying to get rid of. Yeah. It's really nice yarn mm -hmm. that we just wanted to surprise you with. Oh, fun. So it's another way of us spoiling you. It's like a good way to get yourself a treat. It is. <laughs> It makes me happy. I love to see it. <laughs> love that to is see very them. cool. We were here last night and we got to sit around and hang out. So what do you, like in a typical week, when are people gathering here? So every Thursday night we have our stitch night mm -hmm. and we generally have anywhere between six to 10 or 12 people mm -hmm. hang out. We are open till seven. It's our late night. We love it. It's so much fun just to sit and hang out. I'm an advocate for a stitch night because I feel like I became a better knitter when I was doing that yes. because they help each other mm -hmm. and they encourage you. And that's the kind of um, atmosphere we cultivate here in the store is being sweet and loving, encouraging and kind. Yeah. We had such a blast last yes. night. Yes. And then, and then on Saturday mornings, we typically have a lot of people in the store um, sitting and stitching as well. Um, Saturdays, uh, I think starting in March, we're doing the doodle stocking. Oh. And so I'll be making a doodle bar uh, with minis. And then we'll be encouraging each other to finish our stockings so that we can hang them on our fireplaces at, in November. So next, and so it'll be fun. So let's walk into the back sure. here and see what you've got back here. Okay. So we're walking through your classroom. Yes. That. And then what do you have in the back? So back here we have my dyeing studio. And then this is the distribution area where when um, our orders are placed online, we fulfill the orders right there. We go up front, mm -hmm. pick the orders from our warehouse yeah. showroom, and then we fill the orders right here. This is all yarn that's waiting to be twisted, um, snapped so that they're nice and tidy when yeah. you are caking. Oh, nice. And then um, this uh, rack, we hang the uh, wet yarn on to dry, and then we turn the fans on. Smart. Everything. <laughs> and then I have a commercial dehumidifier that sucks all the moisture out of the air 
and the yarn. Nice. So it dries very, very quick. And then this side looks like you got a lot of space to dye. This is amazing. Um, I changed my dyeing style mm -hmm. uh, last year to dye, well, actually it's been two years now because uh, we have the subscription service. Mm -hmm. And so I dye in very large quantities awesome. now. And I always carry a very large amount of undyed yarn. Amazing. In uh, the store at all times, so. That's great. Yeah. So we're gonna get to dye some yarn. Yes, we are. I'm okay. so excited. Let's get ready to Okay, I'm gonna change. Okay. <laughs> So let me ask a question. Sure. What color are you thinking? Oh, well, I mean, you know what my favorite color is. <laughs> well, I know, but are we making, are we creating something new? Yes. We are. Yes. This is this is called Love and Stitches. <gasps> oh my god. So, what's your favorite pink? Um, probably like a carnation pink. Is um, that is that like like a medium pink? Oh, there's yeah, a color chart. Is like your wristband, is that a carnation or this? Is this like a carnation? I paint? would say so, like a medium, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna go with, um, I wanna go with um, ballerina pink. Okay. And this is my, I'm gonna show you my favorite dye method. Okay. So, and then do you wanna put speckles on it? Yeah. Sure. What color speckles would you like? Um, how do we how do we bring a pink into like a sophisticated not neutral but like do you put another pink on top do you put something like a caramel on so it? What I like to say? do um, if you want to have a caramely color mm -hmm. we could definitely go with that color mm -hmm. um, I would recommend something along the lines of um, maybe doing a um, a toffee okay if you want to do that kind of uh, yeah. Like a rose gold color. Yeah, um, we I can want do it to that. Look like your tea. <laughs> you want it to look like my tea? <laughs> oh, then you know what I think we should do is I what? think we should do. Um, so I, I want to do like some pretty. tobacco leaf because Ooh. that's going to be a really pretty um, brownie gold mm -hmm. color. That'll be pretty. I love this color, okay. avocado, and that color for your um, leaves. We might go with rose and mauve, Ooh. rosebud and mauve. This sounds so pretty. Let's see how we like that. Okay, cool. One of the things we have to do real quick is we have to skin some yarn. That's okay. Okay. This is so fun. Mine's gonna be. I really did. I really didn't know we were doing like our own, like a new colorway. So I'm really excited. Yeah, we have to do a new colorway. Yay. What's the best part? How many times do you normally have to work like? How many iterations of a colorway do you go through normally before you're like, okay, this is this is what I wanted? Um, I generally just lay it down. Yeah? I already kind of have it in my head now what I'm going to do. Awesome. Yeah. That comes from experience because I have zero clue. Well, I've been doing this a long time now. <laughs> it's about um, eight years. Mm -hmm. So those are cool, like reusable ties. I love these. Um, these are just reusable zip ties and I just really like them. Do you use different colors to like for different bases on the zip ties or you just? I do. So the red, I'm using the red. I have a little chart over there uh, that says what color goes oh, for what cool. base. And it just helps us when we're doing a whole bunch all at once and a bunch of different you bases to kind of know what we're doing. Smart. Now, how many days a week are you normally dying? Do you have like a schedule you kind of keep? I don't because <laughs> the girls want me to be dying every single day, but that's boring to me. It's so also very labor intensive. It's very hard on your body. Yes. Because all when you're doing five skeins at a time, mm -hmm. it's almost five pounds. Oh my gosh. Weight. Lifting. It's wet is heavy. Yes. So my that mine is gonna be sparkle. I love it. Also, I thought it would be a nice um, visual on the, the way different bases look mm -hmm. using the exact same dyeing method at mm -hmm. the same time. Sparkle looks the best. <laughs> I love sparkle.
Do you see that whisk right there at the top? Is it this one? Uh-huh. Okay. Can I have that? I'm a sous chef. <laughs> so, that's why I have this one. Yeah. The other three are going to be for our other skeins of okay, yarn. Okay, cool. So, let me cool. grab us a mini. Mm -hmm. Is that too baby pink? Hmm, maybe a little bit. Do you want it to be more rose gold color? Sure, yeah. Okay. That's what I was wondering. Okay. So let me You're right, here. that is very carnation pink. That is what I said. Yes, that's okay. Not, that's not what I that's meant. That's okay. I can, <laughs> I can change. So this is something you've blended already. Yes, this is a pre-blend. Cool. Oh, pretty. Oh, it's got a lot of purple in it. Mm. I love, this is like, I love to take pictures of the way this looks when you do this. It's so cool. And I always put it in the right-hand corner because then I know that I have my dye in. Yes. Ah, oh, now you can see it's pinky. This is the dance. Okay. This is for, for the professional. <laughs> wow. So basically, only it's the pretty. Best. Yes, yes, yes. I like that. Soft. So, here's oh. what we're gonna do. Okay. I know, it does look like a beverage. It looks like a glass of wine. It does. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right down the middle, like this. Okay. And just go back and forth. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna try to mash you. Right down the middle. Oh my gosh, I'm not as even as you. It's okay. Um, I have a lot more experience. Okay. So you can, let's make it a little wider. Okay. So we're just gonna go Right on. Perfect. Okay. Bring down. And then we want to make sure and have these Do areas out. Yes. There's plenty, so. I'll take these ones, guys. <laughs> these are super fun. So, oh my gosh, there's tiny. These are one gram spoons, and I love, love, love them because they're. Wait, you gotta see how small this is, Kent. Can you see it? Yeah. So it's so tiny, can you even see it? Yeah. Okay. But see how you're holding it? Mm -hmm. So you're gonna hold it the same way, like that, mm -hmm. except we're gonna do tap, tap, tap. Okay. See that? Oh my gosh, my hand is cramping. Yep. Because your hand is doing something your muscles are not used to yes. doing. Yes. So this is different. It's like coarse. It is. That's my secret. Ooh. Really? So I like it to be chunky. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to go in and just give it a little bit of it's like sprinkles. Sprinkles. Love. There we go. Be generous. Okay. Even try, more? try it with two fingers like this. Yes. Better? Mm-hmm. Because now we're going to use the magic wand. Okay. This literally is a magic wand. I'm going to show you on mine. Okay. And then you can do on yours. Okay, sounds good. This is judicious. Okay. And we're going to work on just the side. Okay. Because if we flip it over, mm -hmm. all of the dye is going to come out. Okay. And it's going to be blobby. So I, I originally went in with the mauve and I wanted to put a little bit of deeper speckles in mm -hmm. like we did with the gold. Yeah. And I don't really care for that. So since I've tried it, mm -hmm. I know that's not what I want. Okay. So up here, I'm going to do this. Okay. And here's how it works. Okay. I'm going to give you one too so you yeah. can try. 
so you can get the feel of it. Sounds good, an empty one so I can practice. And it's an empty one. <laughs> so what you're gonna do is you're going to turn it on its side, uh -huh. just gently, 45. and tap, okay. tap. Okay. Okay, right. so I'm going to Tap, 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 tap. Just all the way. And here's one with dye. Okay. I think you got it. All right. What is this device actually for? Powdered sugar. Oh. Okay. Can't see if like it's coming it out. So tilt it just a tad bit more if you if you don't see them coming out. And this one is very clumpy. This is a moisture mm -hmm. dye for some reason. This color in particular. So you may just have to give it more of a down towards the. Yeah, you my might hand have is to cramping rotate. so bad. I can't. I can barely do it. That's not good. I need to. How about <laughs> rotate it just a slight bit more, where it I looks it a, little a little more like bit. this. I'm gonna have to do this left-handed because I can't. I can't do it with this hand either. I think it's coming out a little bit. That's wild. How about turn it upside down? where most of the holes are. There we perfect. go, there we go. Yeah. It's coming out. Oh, there we go, so pretty. Yes. Now and you this can just, is and, like a magic wand. Yes, and you can do, and try not try not tapping, and just go like this. Oh, yeah, 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 there we go. There you go. How's that? Yes. Pretty. And Oh, it's I really like, developing on yours. Yes, and I really like doing that in this colored area yeah. to give more depth and dimension and more tone on tone. <laughs> I want to have a little more green because you really like pink and green mm -hmm. together. So I'm going to go in with and dry tap this in. Awesome. Um, because it needs a little bit more depth. Okay. This is cool. We've seen three different speckling methods. Oh yeah, that's a nice green. I feel like this needs a little bit of pink though. Yeah. I'm gonna grab a tad bit of ballet pink just so we can add a little bit of that pink like that. to it because it just looks pretty when we do that. This is fun. All right, so the next step is we load them in. All right. And how long do they cook? <laughs> They're gonna cook about two and a half hours. Oh wow! Look how pretty that it's is. It's so pretty. I was like, sparkles the best. Yes, I have to agree. Didn't the colorway turn out so beautiful? It is not what I said when I first voiced the color that I was thinking in my head, but it is perfectly what I was imagining. And I think Lori just did such a good job bringing that to life. And I just really appreciate her for letting me try all of those things. You only saw maybe 10 minutes of footage, but I think we were dying for about an hour and a half. And that is definitely a slow rate <laughs> for a dyer, but it was so fun to experience everything firsthand. Now, if you like the nitty natty colorway, that is what Lori ended up um, suggesting for the name. And I just loved it. Um, you can order it for a limited time. It is available for pre-order through February 29th of 2024, just in case you're watching this video sometime in the future. Um, it is a two week turnaround. So from your order date, about two weeks until it is dyed and ready to be shipped. I started a pair of socks to kind of show off the colorway and see what it looks like because I was really, really curious. And this is from one of the skeins that I personally dyed. I think it's turning out really beautiful. I'm really proud of myself, even though I didn't do the hardest work, which is like having the knowledge of how to dye. I just followed instructions, but I'm still pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, keep in mind that again, I did dye this skein, so lorries are gonna be even more beautiful and more consistent. Arkansas Yarn Co. and I are doing a giveaway for just this week. It is over on Instagram, so I will leave my Instagram down below. Um, but if you go over to either one of ours and look for the post with my sock in it, um, you can enter to win a skein of yarn by telling us what your favorite tea is and it's open internationally just make sure to leave your comment before February 23rd because that's when we're going to be drawing our two winners.
tell me about the history of the store. When did you uh, get started? Like what year? And also what made you want to open a yarn store? So my husband, moved, we moved here from uh, the DC side, the Virginia side of Washington, DC. And when we moved here, I really wanted, I was also a hairstylist mm -hmm. and a national educator for several hair companies. And so I wanted to do something not hair related. Mm -hmm. And I had a friend that I met, we toured, we took a little tour on our um, downtown Main Street, had uh, a historical society come and do a tour, uh, 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 we went from business to business or building to building and cool. told us the history of it. And there was this girl that was sitting there, it's, she was actually standing mm -hmm. and she's standing and knitting and walking and knitting. Oh. And I also was a knitter and I was thinking, I need to go and meet her. And so I went over and met her and I think she probably thought I was crazy. And I'm like, hey, I'm a knitter too. And so we became friends. And oh. so I did her hair for her mm -hmm. and she brought me some hand dyed yarn. And I was looking at that and I'm thinking, I can do this. Mm -hmm. So I, we got into our home and we were building new construction. I saran wrapped my entire white kitchen and my and I started dyeing yarn. Oh, and okay. my husband was like, are we gonna be able to use this thing in <laughs> um, this kitchen? And I'm like, yes, we are, so, but I need to have some equipment. Yeah. So he's like, well, go get what you need. Yeah. So I went to a restaurant supply store and I bought all the things that I needed and I started dyeing yarn. And then I, for two months I was on Etsy mm -hmm. and um, and that's about the time that some of the conflict was just starting mm -hmm. with them. And so I hopped off mm -hmm. and opened up my Shopify nice. and, uh, I really, really have just thrived with it. And so it, I got, I did a lot of business and mm -hmm. I thought I need to, I really want to expand this. And I did not have a local yarn store in my town mm -hmm. and it was 45 minutes in one direction or 45 in the other. Yeah. So I wanted to have something here that would provide community for my town people. Mm -hmm. And so I decided to buy this building and I worked super hard in it. Mm -hmm. And I invited my daughter, she, who is my only child, mm -hmm. Jessica, to come and run the business with me. And wow. she agreed. And so the, uh, May 30th will be our five year oh, anniversary in the congrats. store. And I was only in business for 10 months when COVID hit. Oh, I was yes. only barely open when you came to visit yes. me the first time. Yes. We have grown exponentially with plans of expansion. So I love this 130 year old building. Mm -hmm. It's creaky and um, it's, I love it. It's yeah. charming. I just love it. It's beautiful in here. You've Thank just you just definitely made it like look like your home. Like it is Arkansas Yarn Co. As soon as you walk in the door <laughs> it is. with the pink and everything, it's just, it's it lovely in here. Thank you. Can you share anything about your plans to expand? Well, um, if people follow my podcast, uh -huh. they've already heard the plans Ooh, okay. because I am a big dreamer mm -hmm. and I also work super hard to make those dreams mm -hmm. a reality. Um, that's why I have this yarn store, mm -hmm. but we have a second level to this building. And so my dream is to expand up. I'll put my dying, uh, my dying distribution center upstairs, this classroom area. We're in our classroom. Mm -hmm. Anna did our beautiful chalkboard so good. Um, in honor of Natalie. And so we will have the entire classroom area will be commercial yarn. Mm -hmm. And then the front of the store, the entire front of the store will be hand dyed yarn, which is what I specialize in yeah. mine and others. Yeah. The cornerstone of my business is supporting other small businesses. Mm -hmm. I love supporting other small businesses and it's even down to the tea company. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's, it's important to me. We're going to talk about your retreat. So tell me about oh. that. Oh my gosh, my retreat. This yeah. is my second year doing oh. the retreat. Everybody had a really great time last year. Um, our retreat is called A Weekend with Friends oh. because I wanted it to feel loving and relaxing and that you were just spending the weekend with me. Mm -hmm. The girls call it a weekend with Lori because <laughs> I literally know personally every single person that's there. And they all are just the most amazing, lovely hearted people. Mm -hmm. And I'm 
honored and humbled that they want to spend a weekend with me. So it's at Lake de Grey okay. and um, it's a gorgeous resort and we have some classes and then we have some downtime so that people can enjoy the amenities of the resort. Uh, we just have so much fun and it's just a pleasure. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. We make um, t-shirts. <laughs> Everybody got a water bottle um, everybody, we had a giant cast on night. So everybody cast on my friend, Lindsay from always yarn first mm -hmm. designed a shawl for us. I dyed a yarn to go with, and then we played a uh, family feud oh, fun. and, uh, it was fun because Lindsay had all of the music and it was just like the show. It was oh fun. Gosh. We split up. It was fun. This year we have a new game that oh. we're playing and it's going to be, let's make a deal. Okay. So it's going to be fun. And when do you have your retreat? The retreat is usually the first weekend in September. Okay. This year it's the 5th through the 8th. Mm -hmm. And um, as far as I know, all 30 attendees from last year want to attend. And I <laughs> opened it up to 10 more people. Yeah. So we're letting those people just released yesterday. Yeah. We had 15 of the 30 sign up wow. last night. So um, the ones full. who fall off, it might be full. <laughs> yeah. But um Every year we'll try to add a few, but it's our first couple of years and I wanted it to be manageable Definitely. and I wanted to feel intimate mm -hmm. and like, again, like you're spending the weekend with me yeah. with, and doing things that, that I like to do. Definitely. We well, all, like everybody to likes to do. <laughs> yes. Yes. So what's the best way for people who don't live in Arkansas to connect with you? I think you were talking about, um, you have an amazing newsletter. We do. Lindsay uh, is my virtual assistant. Uh, she lives in Little Rock. Mm -hmm. She puts a newsletter out with us um, on the first of every month and then on the 15th. The first gives an entire month highlight of what's going on mm -hmm. and then the 15th highlights projects we're working on, new yarn that we have coming in, special events, that mm -hmm. type of thing. And then we were one of the first yarn stores, if not the first yarn store, to have a shopping app. So oh. you can go to Google Play or the Apple Store, download our app. It's free. And then one of the things that we do for our subscribers is we will send out notifications. If you leave your notification on, you know this. Mm -hmm. You get free shipping one day, just mm -hmm. randomly, one day a year. One day a year, we give 25% off the entire store, Ooh. which I don't really ever do. Mm -hmm. And so that's just for our subscribers. They're also, they get first notification if I have a brand new yarn dyed, um, events that we have going. All of the subscribers knew about you coming oh. first. And so we were almost completely sold out for your event yes. in two days. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Yes. I'm excited to see everybody. Yes. I love it. And then people can also find us on Instagram, Facebook, and ArkansasYarnCode.com. We're going to show your map because I think that's so cool. The I map is super stuff. cool. We have had people from 40 different, 46 different states have come to our town mm -hmm. just to see us because they follow us on social media and I'm on their bucket list to see. So cool. And then when they're here, I send them down the block mm -hmm. so they can shop the other small businesses yes. in our town because I want to share the love of Melbourne with everybody. It's Definitely. beautiful. Definitely. It's a cute little town. It is. Little town. It is. What What other businesses do you have? You, I know we we're, we're talking about the coffee shop, but mm -hmm. what else is here? We have a, uh, we have a brand new little ice cream shop that's oh, precious. Yay. It's pink inside. You'll love it. Oh. Uh, we have a, um, of course, we love, love, love coffee records. Mm -hmm. um, they're at the end of our block. And then we have a little, um, we're unique, this main street, mm -hmm. in that there are five legacy businesses on this main mm -hmm. street in that they are family generational businesses. Cool. So there's uh, our business, Jessica and I run it. My husband is next door at the Edward Jones office. Mm -hmm. He's a financial advisor. His dad started that business wow. and people didn't even know what a CD was. They thought it was music. Mm -hmm. And then um, next door is a flower shop mm -hmm. and that is a generational business. Cool. Across the street is a generational business. The uh, Listen B Jewelry Store is a generational business. Um, there's a, a historic pharmacy across the street by the ice cream shop. They also are a mother, uh, a father, daughter pharmacy Very team cool. that they own their historic building. So wow. it's a, it is a charming town. It is a charming town. I love it here. Well, thank you so much for having us here today. It's my pleasure. It's been so much fun. I love just you. like spent the whole weekend here. I it's know. like we got our own retreat with Lori. You did. <laughs> you sure did. I love it. I love it.